hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video we will see how to use resource codes in oracle prime or p6 so i'll explain you this with an example so the resource code is going to be level and the resource code values that i'm going to consider is junior and senior so basically what i mean is when we open the software we have a set of resources which are in the company so i'll be grouping them as uh, junior employees and senior employees by default it will be uh, based on the department but we will change it to junior employees and senior employees got it right so this is the example that i'm going to show you so I'll minimize this. Now I'll open the software. So if you are not on this window, like if you see this kind of blank window, you can go to enterprise and then go to projects. So you'll see the project window. So as I told you, resource codes are applied to the resources. So you'll have to open the resource window. Now we are on the project window so let us go to the resource window so I'll go to enterprise then I'll go to resources so as you can see project window is different resource window is different so in the, in the resource window you can see all the available resources in the company it can be labor non labor or material as you can see there are a number of resources I'll be considering only four or five resources to explain you this so as you can see if I minimize this the resources are grouped based on department like which are the resources that come under trades and again under purchasing and again under engineering and so on so I'll exp expand all of them now now if I right click and go to group and sort by you can see it is in default mode got it right the resources are grouped based on default mode but when we when we have codes we can group them based on our requirement okay so our requirement is nothing but we want them to group based on junior and senior employees so what I'll do is I'll go to enterprise then I'll go to resource codes to create the resource codes so you'll get this kind of a dialog box got it then you have to go to modify so here in this uh, new dialog box we have to click on add and here we will create the resource code I mean resource code level so I'll name it as level just save and close then you'll see it here if you don't see it here means you can uh, click on this drop down and select level then click on add two times because we have two values resource code values are to junior and senior so I'll uh, name it as J for junior and uh, S for senior so I'll save and close it now come to the resource window and here uh, add the resource codes so make sure you you can see codes option here in the resource details tab this is the resource details tab so be on the codes tab then select the resource that you want to assign code so I highlight inspections then I'll come to codes here in the resource details tab then click on assign so as you can see here 
level this code is available here and uh, the values are junior and senior so for the inspections I'm going to assign junior and let us come to the electrician even uh, let him be a junior employee and even the pointer even let that be a junior employee then let us come to the engineer field engineer let him be the senior employee and design engineer let him be the senior employee got it right so assign the so I assign the codes now now what we do is let us group them as you can see we have assigned the codes to the employees but still the grouping is based on department like who come under trades and who come under purchasing who come under engineering and so on so now let us see how to how to group them based on the level so I'll right click over here then I'll come to group and sort by then you have to go to customize just maximize this dialog box and here search for level there are many options but search for level then click on apply then click on ok so as you can see under junior employees we have our junior resources we have inspection electrician painter and uh, under senior employees or resources we have field engineer and design engineer these are the resources that we did not group so they come under a separate resource code uh, which was created by the system called as no level got it right all other resources that we did not consider will come under no level so this is just for the uh, visualization purpose and if you want to create uh, other kind of resource codes you can create any number of and visualize the way you want so I'll close this now got it right so this is how you create resource codes in the same way you can uh, create your own and apply them so if you have any doubts you can uh, comment below and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you